video came about kind of strange, and I'm going to show it to you. The uh, Here I've got the definition of diversion, and to me, regardless of what you're talking about, so get the enemy to look one way while major movement comes from the opposite direction. Guys, I don't care if it's military, political, martial arts, fake left, come from the right. You understand what I'm saying? Now, ISON was, we were told by mainstream media before YouTube started talking about it, that ISON would be the comet of the century. And we watched it. It's been beautiful still watching it. I'm going to show you the new images as it comes across the sun and spreads out further. You see it coming into the top right there. But I was uh, watching a radio show yesterday, and uh, someone sent a video. But anyway, this whole time, guys, they were going to all the trouble to move the SDO cameras, get everyone to look, get everyone that had ground-based images to watch ISON on, this, on the 28th. Send their images in, get everyone's attention. Do not look back. Do not look back. Look at the sun on the 28th. Now, you're seeing a smudge ring on both images. See that circle? Well, that's after these images were scrubbed. And my friend from Austin, Nick Danger, sent an image into Paul Begley's show yesterday while I was watching it and asked uh, if we knew anything about it. So I had uh, I went back, and they had scrubbed it from the Sechi A camera. That's all that's left. If you'll go to that timestamp on the 28th of 409, you'll see just that circle. Well, I happen to be recording most of the cameras on the 28th. Top right is the picture they sent in to the radio show where you could see it there on live stream, guys. And uh, at first, I wasn't sure because it was so grainy just watching it, you know, through a couple of levels there. So, But I matched it up in dates, and this is what it looked like before it was washed. Now, the entire world was looking to the right on this exact time you see the tail of ice sun going in here in the large picture inky under it okay the whole focus of the entire world was the opposite direction well i checked this thing out and again i was recording it on the other cameras on that day most people were and before they got back to the sechi hi1a camera i went back and i got about four clips this thing came in from the left. I was checking it on this gray camera because it will eliminate almost any lens flare that you're dealing with. Okay? But why would they scrub it on the left side, guys? This object, don't know how big it is, came in from the left. They knew the timing it was coming in. They knew to get everyone's attention towards the sun. Comet Ison was coming in, coming in perfect opportunity. We're still watching it. I'm still watching it. These are all enhanced images that I did. Guys, and when the solar flare came across this thing, the shadow of it even changed. Look at this. See how the flare came across Ison's tail? You see that? And then the object completely changed. The top darkened just like the top of the image, and the light from the solar flare lit up the bottom of it. Now, I sent the, I analyzed it, sent it back in, and Paul was looking at it today on the show. We were talking about it, called in just for a moment. Here's Ison coming into the top right, guys. This is the, a day later. So we a perihelion had already came around. Kind of, it's the same camera though. Just to show you, it's not you're not seeing it there. It came through on this camera on that date. Now, we were talking about it on the show. And a fellow called in. He couldn't tell us about himself. He said his name was Mike, worked for the federal government. He said the picture was real, that someone had let it leak out. Four people had just lost their job about it. But I'm sure Paul will probably archive that video tonight. I'm not sure his schedule on how he does that, guys. Some of you know more about that than I do. But he may have the guy that called in. It's not me. I mean, there was... There was uh, several hundred people on the radio show at that time that heard him call and say the images are real. And, guys, I couldn't get them to blend out or, bl or to create any type of anything that looked like a lens flare. Now, a couple of things here. you got a small asteroid out to the top left as we're looking at ISON coming in. Now, some of the, I want you to notice something about ISON here is that I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to do a steel shot, but it almost appears to be turning. In other words, it, it looks like a fan from the side. It's actually a cone, looking at the bottom of it, and there's a shadow on the left side, 
and it appears to be turning somewhat. That could be natural because of the way the camera's turning. And Ison is actually should be going in a straight line now. Now, this is Lovejoy. I was looking over on this camera to see what uh, if Ison had appeared on it yet, and it has not. But that's Comet Lovejoy. It rises up, and you see it gets a little brighter in the last few images from a, so, a solar flare. Do you see that? Well, I'm going to bring this up. But Lovejoy's still kicking. Now, it's not a sun diver, but this is the area that I sun will be coming through. You see Mercury and that cl the star cluster there is the Pleiades. Now, this, I think, is just a, uh, I think it's something on the lens, guys. I'm not sure. It looks like a Mississippi buzzard. I know someone's going to say Klingon, bird of prey. It's moving right there. I don't know. But uh, I, th that's Lovejoy there. And this is the area we're going to be watching for that fan pattern of Iceland, if we can pick it up on this camera. Now, check this out. This is the one I had saved that I went back. Did you see what happened on the left? Now, you see the tails of Inky and Iceland going into the sun. You're going to see a couple flashes to the left. That Look at that solar activity that those comets cr are creating, guys. There's our image. It's not a sun flare. I mean, a lens flare, guys. But wait, I forgot. You're not supposed to look that way, remember? Don't look back. All eyes to the right. Stay in step. Here's after the flare comes under. Lights up the bottom of the object. Here, they've scrubbed it. There's still a faint circle in the time. Now, it, we don't know anything about a size because we don't have anything to compare it to. How close was it to the stereo A camera, right? But we do know that it was taken off. Why? We got a caller that sounded official. Sounded like he knew what he was talking about. Four people lost their job over that image getting leaked to the public. Is there something out there that will make a man's heart fail out of fear, guys? What's going on with this? Don't know. It's a heads up. Be safe.